we are all highly welcome 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 to every one of us um today we are going to be talking about seven strategies for growing your business faster we are going to be looking at what are those ways that we can that we can grow our business especially if you're just starting your business okay i'm sure we all know it's not that easy it's not very easy when one starts a business how do you grow your business what do you do today i'm just going to give you seven strategies that worked for me which i know will also work for you also all right like i said if you know the business you're doing help me drop on the chat box what business are you doing now are you into business or you want to go into business you're not yet doing any business or you're planning to start one just drop into the chat box whatever it is let's just face the facts today scaling your business is not easy okay like the person selling provision now to say you're scaling your business onto a higher you know way to make greater impact is not easy or you're into printing and um publishing is not so easy but you know okay so um if you put in considerable effort into what you're doing you're going to actually make a break impact a great impact in the beginning it means you know we are in different hats that's doing different things like the person selling provision now you have to be the one to go to the market to do the shopping come and stock come and sell come and take the bookkeeping be the accountant go to the the bank and things like that okay so that's how it is in the beginning it's very very difficult but it means dealing with sales marketing purchases taxes corporate issues government issues okay and it also involves your in, in attracting marketers okay on daily basis and so much more like now the person selling provision you won't really say you're doing great if your provision is just sold on your street, the streets around you, and things like that. You can't really make global impact. Remember that these Thursdays, we talk about how you can make global impact, how you'll be able to reach the world. Because it's the more people you help, the more money you make. It's when you help more people that you make more money. Okay, so scaling up your business is not that easy, but it's something that is very, very doable. It's something that is very, very doable and can be done. So if you're struggling to grow your business, there is actually light at the end of the tunnel. I'm telling you, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Sure, it's going to be diligent, hard, and smart work. But what's the alternative for us business people? For me, I've never worked for anybody. And I will never work for anybody. That's for me, okay? Es except if I'm going to um, on that train, train for something. Like I can remember when I went to learn how to do um, a showcase, okay? So the woman would be saying, oh, do get this for me, get that for me. It's like working for her because I was learning from her. Or when I went to do learn sewing, I also did sewing. I went to learn sewing. So the madam there would be, you know, sending me on errands. Or I was, she wasn't paying me. It's like learning. So it's only apprentice shifting that one will say it's good. Um, I will do. Because no matter how you look at it, I have studied, and many people have studied rich people. Wealthy people are buying and selling. That's the truth about it. Dan Gote is the richest man in Africa. Is he not buying and selling? He's buying raw materials, producing goods, and selling goods. My Kadenuka is selling communication. He sells data for you, but he doesn't come to the streets. You see him on under the umbrella saying, come and buy a recharge card. Come and buy a recharge card. No. But many people who started businesses started it small, okay? They started it small, and then they now started growing. And then I started growing. So you may maybe you are longing for the security of a guaranteed paycheck, but at what mental or emotional um, price do you want to put? What do you want? What price do you want to pay? There is always price to pay. The truth is this: if you buckle up, if you clear your mind, and you just look at things in the right and positive perspective, you can easily identify ways that you can grow your business and make more money quickly if you can clear your mind if you can look at things in the right perspective with positive perspective not looking at things with negative perspective like i tell people the economy of the nation you are in is not your economy no matter where you are 
watching me from. The economy of that nation is not your own economy. The economy of your state is not your own economy. Your own personal economy is what actually matters. That's what actually matters for you. So no matter where you're watching it from, what is your personal economy? What are you ready to put in? What are you ready to do so that you will be able to make sure that you have that, okay? If, 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 if we're talking about guaranteed paycheck, something that pays you every day. I can remember when I was struggling, I was working hard looking for a business that would pay me every day. When I mean business that will pay me every day, it's business that people will buy something from me every day and I'll make cool money, not the one of selling and making like in Nigeria, 50 Naira, 100 Naira. By the time you start counting 50, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000, 2,000. And then at the end of the day, one long book like that, you do, you do total. Total of everything you have sold that day, 50 something thousand, your own profit, maybe like 2,500. And then you have a sales girl there that you pay, you're paying shop rent again. By the time you take out money for sales girl, money for shop rent, money for, you know, tax people, you'll find out that your profit has moved from 2005 to maybe like 900 Naira. Then you close the book for the day. That's even for those who are keeping books. Some people don't even keep books. That's why they eat into their capital and then they don't have anything. So what am I saying? You need to open up your mind. You need to look at things that, with the right perspective. You need to clear your mind. You know, you need to have a growth mindset and know what is happening, what is pertaining in this 21st century. Okay? <laughs> I was telling people, I said, gone are the days when people will stay in one shop or one big supermarket, they'll be feeling good about their spa. I can remember in those days, friends that will go and rent one building and they will go and fill it with goods. You know, they will be looking at them as big people because they have one shop that is filled with goods. At the end of the day, you, you're not getting anything. Amazon, does he have any shop? Eh? Even, let me even come down to Nigeria. Jumia, eh? which shops do they have? Middle people that are selling goods, selling, selling, selling in their hundreds and becoming millionaires. You too can be so. You might not have all the money those people have, but if you have the growth mindset, if you will follow the global influencers and teaching people, you too can become one. Silently and quietly, nobody knowing how many millions you make every day. Because number one, the business I will introduce to us at the end of this, you know, um, telling us seven ways or you can grow your own personal business and how to add other businesses to it. You don't need a shop. You don't need to pay any shop rent. You don't need a sales girl. You don't even need any tax person coming around you because the company collects the tax for you and pays for the tax. They don't disturb you for anything. Everything has been done for you. I used to be a production. I used to be into production. They produced for you. Everything is set for you. All you need is enjoy your products and then talk about the benefits as if, you know, as you're enjoying yourself, the way I enjoy myself on Mondays or Saturdays, I'm jumping up and then enjoying myself, having fun and, you know, blowing millions. So if you're struggling to grow your business, there is actually light at the end of the tunnel. Why hundreds of growth strategies exist about growing business, these seven that I'm going to talk to you about today, we quickly take you from nothing to being something in doing your business today. All right. Okay. So like anything else in life or in business, you have to put in the time. If you're looking to reap the benefits, there must be time. You have to be able to have time. I know the beautiful thing about the 100 reflexers and about the um, um, business I'm, I'm talking about, you don't re really need them um, time framed that you cannot manage. You do things at your own time. Like now, if I have a shop, I have to get out in the morning to go and open the shop when people are walking up and down, isn't it? If I don't open it when people walk up and down to see what is inside my shop, I will not sell. But this business, you're in front of people every day. You follow them, whether they are traveling, whether they are at home, whether they are in school, whether they are in shop, whether they are in the office, you follow them. And that is the good thing about social media, okay? So I'm talking about how you can use social media to leverage your business, use attraction marketing to be able to get to many people so that people will be looking for you. It's not you that will be looking for people. And then automation. So that by the time you use automation, the things are into play. When I wake up in the morning to we with 3 a.m. I'm telling you 3 a.m. I will with twice. 
I will be just before I sleep, 3 a.m. And then when I wake up to have my morning walk around 6 or, or so, I will have so many people to answer from 3 a.m. from that time. All right. So that's automation. The thing just comes. And that's what we are looking at. So don't focus on short term, term, term outcome. OK, focus on long term outcome. Build sincere value and then look at how you can help customer. Genuinely care for customers. These are some of the values that you should have, some of the, the, the attributes that you should have, okay? Number one, don't focus on short term. Number two, focus on long term gains and long term work. Number three, build sincere value, okay? And then number four, make sure you love your customers that you want to help them. Be genuinely caring okay this should be the foundation and after all this simple foundation you have put them into action then you we can now begin to talk about what do you do to scale up your business okay number one the first thing you need to do is to build a sales funnel you can write it down if you're following me build a sales funnel okay that's number one thing so i said the first thing you need to do is to build a sales funnel Okay, build a sales funnel. That's the first way to quickly grow your business if you need to grow your business. If you don't have a sales funnel, you're making, you know, a mistake. There must be a way. When we talk about funnel, you know how funnel looks like. Funnel is um, big like this. I wish um, tell her to give you a funnel <laughs> so that I can use it to describe. <laughs> All right, so uh, a funnel is big like this, and then it starts narrowing down. So when you need to sell up your, scale up your business, you need a sales funnel. Sales funnel can help you to automate your business. That's what I have done in my business. But first of all, remember, you need a business that can go on social media. If you don't have one, join me. It can be a side business. Like those of you that say you're doing provision, you can join me and do my business, okay? My business, we have personal care products. We have supplements. We have skincare, we have um, drinks, we have all this. And you know, the beautiful thing about our product is that the products are already prepared for you, already um, manufactured for you, and they are in over 171 nations, and they can supply to anywhere in the world for you. So if you, if you join this business and you make it as your second stream of income, we train you, we coach you, we mentor you, we show you how you can grow a business from almost nothing to a global business. And then you can now apply it also to the business you're doing now. That's what I'm presenting to you today. So don't say, oh, it's a network marketing company. I cannot do it. My business, Forever Living Business, has three ways, three main ways. If you don't want network marketing, don't worry about that. We have retailing. We have recommendation. Those are two strong legs you can stand on without even having any network marketing, whatever, or downliners, you know, under you. So, but the good thing is that the business coming with an open mind. We train you on how you can go global, even with your little business. I have someone whose business is just selling pap. I tell you, she's selling pap today all over. She has added another business, which is selling... um. Um, used clothes and things like that. They call them Tokumbo or Krika or something, okay? She has added that. And because of how she has learned on how to do this business globally, how to do this business in social media, how to do this business with automation, she's now able to do it very well all around, okay? So that's what I'm saying. So like this, I'm saying you must have a funnel. This is like a funnel, okay? A sales funnel will help you to automate your business. Your business should have a sales funnel that is like this, okay? It will help you to scale and grow your business easily and quickly, okay? Because I'm not going to go into details on what this does. But I tell you, here is the larger part of the funnel. We teach you how you can get or as many people as possible all over the globe, okay, into this place. And as you get those people all over the globe into this place, you will start using all the pro procedures and methods we will um, teach you that the people will start draining until they drain out. It might not, it's not all the people who come in here that will come out here. You can see how little this other space is. And it's not all the, all the same time, the same time all the people that come in here that will come out here. So that's like a sales funnel. We teach you how you can reach the world. 
and then out of those what begin using your um, clients and um, niche to niche down until you get the kind of people you need that we buy finally from you and the good thing about it is that when you have a sales funnel which will help you to develop when you join our global influencers club you'll be able to reach the people that are your ID clients so many of them, those who have the money, those who don't have the money, those who have the ideas, those who you know want it, those who want it later, all of them will come in big like this until every day there will be people that are dropping, people that are dropping for you to sell to every day. So that's what a sales funnel look like. All right, so I'm also willing to take our questions as we go on. All right, so that's the first. And again, the second strategy remember the first one is that you must have a sales a workable sales funnel you must build your own sales funnel you must have it when we talk about sales funnel is a method of attracting people into your business exposing your business to them until they now buy from you gradually okay then the second one is you need to utilize a customer management system Okay, there must be a customer management system. How do you manage your customers? <clears throat> First of all, when they come in as prospects, how do you manage them till they become your a buyer and from a buyer to a customer? Okay, so those are the stages. Somebody does not just become your customer overnight, the person is a prospect, then from being a prospect, the person becomes a buyer. And from a buyer to your customer. So manually tracking transactions is really, really hard. No one wants to do that, okay? Especially if your business is getting big. So, and it can be very cumbersome as your business is growing. So if you want to scale quickly, you need to use a customer management system. And there are so many of them you can choose from. You must have a customer management system. But it really depends on the type of business you're doing, the type of business you're doing. That's what we'll tell you the customer management system. We also teach that in Global Influencers. When we teach you in Global Influencers, and then you can now apply it to whatever business you're doing now. Then the third way to grow your business fast is research, researching the competition you have around you. You must research and find out the competitions you have around you, okay? When you're going to market and you are really looking to get your offer to the masses you need to research the competition like the person selling them um, let's see let me check um, all the things we say we are selling um let me see let me check all the things we say we are selling somebody says she's selling okay like the person printing and publishing okay you need to check your competitors who are your competitors who are all those publishers who are all those printers that are around what do they know okay what 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 are the platforms what are the things they know better than you what are all those things they know how to do better than you so that you can you can you can know what we call the competitive intelligence okay you will be able to get that competitive intelligence so that you'll be able to x-ray all the things that your competitors are doing what are they what what are they using to get their customers what are they using to keep their customers uncover everything that they are doing and find out how they are able to reach the market find out the advertisements they are doing if they are running some kinds of adverts on television on radio on facebook on social media find out what that those things are you need to have a research on your competitors because those are the ones taking the market from you, okay? Like for me, let me take my business for example. There used to be a time that some of us used to cry, out, hey, these people are doing that, doing that, doing all that. Uh, you know, we're talking about people who are not using integrity in the business, people who are slashing costs for nothing and things. We were spending our time disturbing ourselves that I just removed myself from that. And I went to research consigning some of those people that are doing well in the business. Who are my competitors? I wrote down my competitors. I researched on what they are doing. I found out what they are doing. I started learning what they are doing. I started doing what they are doing and I started doing it better than them. Okay? That's what I'm saying. So for you that you're a printer, this is the process you need to do. Research and find out what are your... That's what is called competitive intelligence. Okay? We are on strategy number three. We are on strategy number three and we are talking about researching you know about your competitors that's what we are 
We've come back live. I pray everybody still comes on. You know, Nigeria. <laughs> That's why I said the economy of the nation does not affect you. Well, it's not what should be your, your main concern. Not that it doesn't affect you. It affects you. Your main concern should be your own. So imagine now, if they say internet in Nigeria is working very well. My own went off now because of minor you know, logistics here within us. Anyway, so that's about that. So what, what was I saying? We stopped at number three. And we said number three, researching your competitors. And I told you what I did to come out of complaining, being open-minded, like I said, being, you know, having the right perspective, the positive perspective about life. Research about your competitors, okay? Make sure you get, first of all, what are their they are, they, are, they are positive things. What are the smart things they are doing? What is making them do better than you? What is making them sell better than you? What is making them make more money better than you? Find out that. 